Hey friends, so it's 11 o'clock at night and I made it safely home with the Heidelberg windmill, which is the project. This is the second video and this is the video about getting it out of the trailer. Tonight's objective is to get off the trailer and into here. And I'm gonna use my crane to do it. Um, but anyway, let me let me get busy. I'm gonna put this in time lapse because I got a lot of stuff to do and I'm really actually tired and want to go to bed. Okay, so what we're doing is unstrapping it enough to get a good look at where the chase clamp is. Because under the chase clamp is a hole. And I'm trying to figure out what has to happen to get access to that. Apparently not as much as I thought. It's not the first time that's happened. All right, so there's 13 millimeter sockets here and here. And these need to be open. So let me get a wrench and get this done. And boom, there is a hole. Let me show you which we're that is what we're looking for. That's the lifting eye for the press. So these will pop off. And now we have free access to it. So let me put all this other stuff away and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eye hook fits in here and I think a three-quarter would have fit in here. So that's just something to know. That hole's bigger than the five eighths. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get a washer down there. Yes, a washer fits. So I'm gonna put a washer on the bottom too. So and I'm gonna try and put two bolts in there. So your access is through the back. Up there. Oh wow. Alright, so we're gonna rotate the press. So put it in impression. All right, 
so we gotta force it. look under there and see if we remember. Yes. Yes, there we are. Oh, and it is going to take a second person to help. All right. Take it out. Yes, this is definitely a two person job. Um, up a little bit. going to do, I'm being goofy, by the way, what I'm going to do is put a second nut on there to lock it, and that takes, again, it takes somebody lifting the eye bolt. And then I'm going to counter twist them and just lock them together and hope it doesn't lock too tight that I have to put wrenches up there because that would suck. All right, so that is all there is to it. And that gives you a fact. Which I'll let you guys get a better look at from here. And then, yep, so that's how that'll work. And we're going to move the press back out of impression. Saying earlier was I out of my mind. yes yes I've lost my fucking mind that's one of my roommates that I've known for years and years and years he speaks fluent German so he can translate the pages and pages and pages oh. well, actually this is an American machine everything was done in English see the little arms flipping that's why it's called a windmill some bastard stole the safety guard off there. But if the safety guard's not there, you're tempted to reach in and it'll give you a facial. Okay. All right. So next, I need to get all these straps out of here. So let me work on that. And then I will bother Misha again. Okay, so we've got all the straps loose, and next what we need to do is bring it back here and get the crane over it so we can get it off here, but it weighs a bit, and it isn't going to go uphill on its own, so we're going to level it with the trailer tongue jack. Okay, so at this point, it's still attached to the vehicle. That's really, really important. 
and it's leveled with a level. A little bit of pop backwards wouldn't be bad. It would be a mistake to take it down the ramp. Um, my guess is it would flip over. And um, so what we need to do at this point is move it back, brace the ramp, and get the crane in place. So I'm going to do that in time lapse. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the trailer immobilized by lifting the foot and by blocking it at the back and at the tailgate. Because we didn't block it at the back, when we moved the 3,000 pound press back here, the back of the trailer would go down and bad things would happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll the skid that we made out underneath the crane, and then we're going to hook the lifting pair to the shackle and pick the press up by its balance point right here. Once the press is clear of this, one of my roommates is going to pull the truck out from under it, and we're all going to say a little prayer and hope that nothing bad happens. Um, no, seriously, I don't think anything bad will happen. We've also got the crane blocked, so it can't go anywhere either. The biggest issue is that when we pull the truck forward, the t gate may swing and um, try to hit the, the crane, and we don't want that to happen. So hopefully it won't, um, and we, because we don't have enough reach to, we, we, we have limits. So anyway, we will do this in live video. Envisioning all sorts of horrible things happening. But don't okay. don't push that. Why? This, well, I didn't think it was going to move any further. I'm just trying to be back there to help hold you up. Yeah, you don't want to be here. <laughs> Not really. Because if it flips, you don't want to be under it. I don't want to be under it. good at this stuff. I would not say that until you're done. Yeah. So the bad news is I really need the pallet jack on the other side. Mm -hmm. yeah. The reason we wanted to do it is to pull huh? it out and lift it over. Yeah. Uh, I'll let y'all have the gloves. How much does that pallet jack weigh? Not much. Actually, I've got a second set. I don't know. Do you want gloves? No, I don't have it. Good. I just wanted to put the cat at pee.
pushing a pallet jack it's not a pallet thing. Anyway. What was it, Misha, you said? I'd lost my fucking line. Mm -hmm. I said it for that. Damn it, I'm missing my glo other gloves. Oh no. Yeah, I don't need these if you don't use these. I mean, it's not like it's really going to be short. Well, it's going to take. I'm trying to do it without making a shit ton of noise. Not like anybody in this neighborhood ever doesn't make noise, but I, don't know. I just feel like being decent. Or not. I already apologized to Roseanne. Yeah, I, I apologize for the dog. I told her I'd try to get it over as quickly as possible. Alright, so here's the danger. When you pick this up, it'll open and it can pinch fingers. So. I should be safe right here. Yeah, you guys want to put it over there. Uh -huh. Alright, ready? Right where I'm at. You need to be on the side of me. Oh, no, he can't bend. Oh. Yeah, he can't bend. I promise. And then I need help over here. If you come down, we set the trailer, we'll hold it. Okay, so you guys got it? I'm going to go inside, wash your fingers. Alright, so I need you guys to pick it up and lift it. Scott, why don't you climb up on top where it's easier? I've got lost damage over, so don't don't care about the trailer. Alright, and if you grab it by the upper handle, you should be able to lower it down. Starts to do anything it's not supposed to. So it should be safe about right here. Is it digging in? No, it's not digging in. It's just I think your wheels. Yeah. Went. I think just the weight just finally hit the. The wheels are catching. level before you destroy it.
people help pushing you? Mm. Huh? You need people to help push? Well, I need to see what I'm dug in on. I think I'm in the crack. I think it's. I just... think you are too. Let me go get a flashlight with battery. Okay. Let me go make a cup of coffee. It's too catch. You'll be right back. I'll be right back. You better. Because I should be asleep. So this one's not far enough back. Hmm. I don't know if I told you I had another tooth crack. Same, same, this side, same tooth that cracked last year. On the bottom or the top? Top. Top teeth are shit. I told the dentist we're not gonna, we're not gonna buy him a Mercedes one crown at a time. <clears throat> He's like, you won't like dentures. I'm like, yeah. I won't like a thousand dollars a pop either. How's that? Mine's next Friday. Yeah, what, dentures? Mm-hmm. Time to find fun. until it comes out to this end. Thing. Push it back so they're flush. You want me to stand on the other one? Yeah. 
Yeah, you're gonna have to stand on them. Alright, just stand on one, I'll stand on the other. Yeah, you should go through and stand on one. standing on them? Alright, I'm fixing to just shove it and see if I can get it in. so he can slide it over the line of it. Well, yeah, but I think that you would get that close enough to that to get it to... Well, this can come down a little bit. It'll work. Well, no, if you had... All right. ...a winch, you could lift that up with it. Not more than the people who live there. Make pretend life will still be there. Yeah. yeah. Right, you can get I'm off. not sure my life will be here. I haven't killed anyone yet. And I haven't died yet, but that really Alright, I think we'll still be here. You off tomorrow? No. <laughs> Me neither.
it wasn't that bad. Oh, okay. It seemed really loud in here. Well, yeah, it's really loud in there, but it was, I mean, it was loud, but it wasn't that bad. Like, the neighbors from across the street probably didn't hear it. We could move the jack a little bit closer. I just don't know where my wheels are. I mean, I'm not going to go off the end. I'm not even that far in. Yeah, your wheels are way, you're at least a foot, two feet. say it's a Christmas miracle, Grandpa. Hey, what's that German thing that uh, is the opposite of Santa Claus? Grinch? No. The Grinch is a Disney thing. Are you talking, um... Krampus. Krampus, yeah. Uh, there you he's go. He's Austrian. Your safety, Krampus. Safety, Krampus. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. Leap in and say say bad things. I haven't yelled we're all gonna die, so we're fine. Huh? I said I haven't yelled we're all gonna die, so we're fine. Yeah, it's not UPS. <coughs> only, only once in my life have I yelled that, and we were within minutes of dying. So, was your was your manager driving? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we were in college. We're driving through, oh, the, driving through the Yukon in the middle of winter. Oh, I had some of those moments, but not in the Yukon. It was in between Frank, Fairbanks and Anchorage. We, uh, we put the truck in the ditch at 70 But, below. you know, I always used to not know why um, advertising signs were mounted on springs. Yeah, you and I went to the grocery store with my fraternity brother, Ken. He was Asian. Stop that. He did not. But he every movie I've ever seen. He ran. We're on film, bitch. Um, he ran over every fucking sign in the Kroger parking lot at Disco Kroger. I was like, "Are you out of your mind?" Now I know why they're on springs. Did you have customers do that with convenience stores? Uh, no, we had them drive into into the building <laughs> through the front windows. <laughs> Luckily, not at my school while I was managing. That's alright. You're like, I wish they would have been stupid. But I had to go to a store one night because I was the closest manager to it at the time of the, of the incident. In the middle of fucking winter. Alright. And there's a fucking 12 foot wide fucking hole in the front of the building. Mm -hmm. I may need an extra set of hands up here. You're what closer. Are we what are we doing? You know, I really don't know sometimes. <laughs> well, actually, I think I got it. Well, I remember when it comes to anything in, in three-dimensional space, you have to be very clear with me. 
and don't use terms like left and right and other technicalities that I don't understand. Yeah, my only concern is that control and that glass step right there by the beam. Is that going to be okay? Do what now? The step up here when you start lifting it up and it starts twisting and turning. Oh, well, as long as one of us is here, we'll be good. The bigger issue is going to be pulling this out. You're actually going to want to pull into the grass. Yeah, it's like as straight as... Oh, you want me to go away. Yeah, no, I guess. What was that? Not a, anymore? I'm not a professional anymore, yeah. Is that in there? Yeah, it's got a little flavor. Yeah, it's bolted. With Home Depot's finest. Because they were out of grade 8. I put two of them on there. It should hold for the 10 minutes we need it for. And if it doesn't? It'll be a very expensive bang. It'll be even more expensive because you've got to pay someone to haul it out of here. like to have done this with a, with a longer rod that would have cleared this whole thing, but I didn't think I had clearance for that. Oh well, I can buy that part if I have to. Should we both pump up at the same time? Huh? Go through this at the same time? Not yet, because I, I really need to like... I'm going to this until I get a little bit of tension on it first. To reach that tension point. Uh -huh. Since I think you reached the tension point. Yeah. Probably something I shouldn't have done. Right. Nope, we're clear still. I'm trying to shift the center of gravity mm. without damaging anything, and I'm really precariously closer than I'd like to be. Oh yeah, this is this is lightweight for this. So I'm not worried. Why was Misha freaking out? He's like, what's this? Oh yeah, what's this look, look at me. At? I, I'm freaking out. Look at me. Yes, this is me freaking out. You've never seen me freak out. Um, it's designed for that. That's five thousand pounds. This is twenty eight hundred. It's probably capable of twice that. I love
too much further. Yeah, we're clear. We're we're swinging. Is it all the way up? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I'm good back here. What I'm worried about is this back corner. Do you want to go by the window so he because he won't be able to hear you over the noise of the truck? Turn. Turn the roof that way. Yep. Keep going. Stop. Huh? Stop. Stop. All right, I want you to pull forward slowly. Actually, turn the wheels hard to the left. Hard left. Hard left. Hard left. Hard left. Hard left. Okay, pull forward. Pull forward slow. Slow. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're clear. You're clear. Go. Go. Like three, four feet and stop. Keep going. Keep going. Just. start lowering this down because I, I don't like it up here. You 
impressed yet? There's a word that I am. <laughs> What's that word? How do you say fucking crazy in German? How would you say that? My last name? <laughs> I'm out of drop. You're fucking kidding me. Do I look like I'm fucking kidding you? <laughs> Why don't you um come on down? Well, you can finish doing this now. Wow. That it won't touch the ground all the way down. Well, it wasn't designed for this piece of equipment. You're starting to go up. Ta-da! Let's see if I bought anything. Yeah, oh, you know what? There's a little scalge there, but I think it'll be okay. I really do. That was disengaging because it didn't get a piece of paper. We didn't get paper either. Huh? We didn't get paper either. We're in that Do what now? Nothing. Which is cute. So, uh, many years of moving back over the inch and a half gap is a, is a nasty, nasty thing. It's not as bad as you think. It's already been way worse. Huh? It's already been way worse. Okay, do me a favor and help me pick up all these little pieces. It all goes underneath here. Underneath here. Where's Brian? Where's here? Just trust me when I say there's a reason for this. We need this stuff out of our way. You want this, this short one? Uh, I'm not worried about that yet. Okay. I thought you were going to go like this. I just wanted it out of my way. I'm homeless. Uh -huh. It's going to take weeks for that to happen. I paid rent for the month. You'd have to take that up with my dad. Although Scott has the hops from a brother. <laughs>
Yeah, that's safe. <laughs> Safety. Are we clear? Oh, actually, you know, Misha, I was going to ask you to pick up the other end. I got it. We're not clear. <laughs> on this side. Because the press is a little top heavy, and the whole idea of this was to not tip over. You're in the crack now. Yeah. some weight back there. If right. both of y'all would stand on the pallet. On this end, right? On this yep, end. on this end. Yep. Clear that. I'm gonna grab what I need. Yeah, we're gonna bring the pal pack through here. What do we want it to do? We want it to roll.
Yeah. Alright, so now I need you guys to push on that side when I lift it up. Push toward you? Yep. I'm going to pull. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough. Hang on. Hang on. He's here to help. Yeah, I mean, mainly you're nope. trying to keep it from coming out. Alright, so I'm going to pull it towards me and it's going to drop into the crack again. Jesus, it's in. Where have you heard that before? I swear this garage is sloped. All garages are sloped. Not the one on Laird Street. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Where do you want these? Under the lathe. Watch out for splinters. They bite. Very, 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 very much. You need help getting that table on still. Underneath yeah. where? On the floor? Or like. No, under the tray. Like right there? Yep, yeah, just throw them in there. They ain't gonna hurt nothing. Alright. Let me wrap up my video real quick. Do you want me to move that table back in real quick? Yeah. Alright, folks, so there. So there it is. It's in the garage. Uh, and I don't think we did any real damage to the press. We'll certainly find out when we run it. But, uh, you know, that's loose. No big deal. Um, but, hey, it's in here and it didn't flip over. And I didn't have to hire really expensive movers. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.